The issue I chose to address is the stigma around mental health in rural communities and farmer suicide rates. This is a long-standing issue, but one that's received a lot more attention and funding within our state recently. I plan to host a farm to dinner theater in my local office. Um, this program begins with a two-day camp for our youth participants where they're taught the knowledge and skills they need to address mental health issues in the, themselves and within the community. The participants then take the knowledge they learned and they'll discuss some resources available to those seeking help through a dinner theater production. Community members will purchase tickets to attend the production and will serve as our audience. This is a program that has been completed in other areas and I think would be very beneficial to my local community. So the goal of this program is to increase community members' knowledge on noticing the signs of someone struggling with their mental health and to teach them how to address that issue with family and friends and the resources that are available to them. So the focus of the evaluation will be on the change of knowledge that participants have after our presentation. This is why I would utilize an outcome evaluation. An outcome evaluation allows for the evaluator to see how participants viewed the program and the knowledge that they took away from it. The main reason I'd utilize this is because it assesses changes in recipients and other secondary audiences based on how the program was delivered. This will allow for the evaluator to see the impact and effectiveness of the program and if it met the goals that were set by the stakeholders. So some framing questions that I would utilize would be, is the program relevant to the county and are the participants satisfied? Um, I think this would be very beneficial because it would allow us to see if the participants felt it was relevant within our area and if it's something that should be repeated for another audience because this is something that you have to limit the number of people that can attend. Another framing question I would use is, did the program achieve its intended purpose? The goal of an outcome evaluation is to see how well a program met its stated goals, so I thought this was a very logical question to utilize. Another framing question I would use was, is this pro program cost beneficial? So farm to dinner theaters can get pretty costly and they require a lot of time investment as well. Um, so we'd want to kind of see the benefit of what people receive from this program and compare it to the cost. Also our audience members also pay for the farm to dinner theater presentation. So we want to make sure that they feel that they got their money's worth out of this program as well. A final framing question I would utilize is was the program adequate? The issue of mental health isn't one that can be solved, um, but it does need to be addressed. So it's important to make sure that the program does an adequate job of addressing the issue to show to stakeholders that this program's worth continuing and it was well worth all the effort that they put into it. And this is another reason I chose an outcome evaluation because it'll allow for stakeholders to make assertions about the program's effectiveness. And I feel like utilizing these framing questions will allow us to do that pretty handily through our outcome evaluation. So some of our stakeholders would be the UK Nursing School or other healthcare and mental health care professionals. They would serve as a partner to the Extension Office and would provide the resources and tools needed to teach participants about reducing mental health stressors and how they can take action within the community. Another stakeholder I would see would be an advocacy organization such as Raising Hope Kentucky and the Ray of Sunshine. Raising Hope Kentucky is a statewide organization that teaches others how to assist those that are struggling with their mental health and they make quite a few resources readily available online. The Ray of Sunshine is a local organization within our community. Um, it's a nonprofit and it's based off their daughter's story of struggles with mental health and suicide. And I feel like they would want to be involved with this as well to kind of help spread their message also. So both of these stakeholders um, would be able to join this program to help spread awareness about mental health in rural areas. And they would be invited to share the stories of the impacts that their programs have had throughout the community and to discuss some of the resources available through their organizations directly. This program would also be beneficial to them because they could receive the evaluations from it as well and see if this is something that they could kind of reinvent and utilize in their organizations also. A final stakeholder I would utilize is the youth participants. I think they need to be as involved in this process as we can get them to be so that they can feel a sense of ownership and feel like their voices are heard throughout the entire um, program. Allowing these participants to be involved um, will allow them to see the impact that they had in the community and the impact that this program had on them as a group. I think the involvement of all these stakeholders would make for a very successful program that would be beneficial to the program and evaluation development as a whole. So I decided to go with a collaborative evaluation plan, more specifically an empowerment evaluation. I felt like it would align really well with a farm to dinner theater. Um, this allows for stakeholders to be more actively involved in the planning and decision-making decision process 
which would be essential in guaranteeing their participation and allowing them to feel a sense of ownership over this program and its outcomes. Overall, I feel that an empowerment evaluation best meets the needs and goals of the program and would provide us with the data that the stakeholders would be interested in receiving because its key objectives are training, facilitation, and empowerment of the individuals participating, which is our main goals as well through this program. Overall, I hope you can see why I picked the Farm to Dinner Theater program to base my evaluation plan around and how I plan to utilize my evaluation plan um, to get the information that we need from the Farm to Dinner Theater once the program has been completed.